We are officially less than one week away now from Election Day, but tonight new questions about election security after vandals targeted a polling place and murals encouraging voting here in Austin. KVU's Luis De Leon joins us live from downtown tonight with a look at what's causing some of this concern. Luis? Yeah, Brian, workers are actually working on cleaning up some graffiti that if you could probably see it over my shoulder, those front windows there, that front window area right behind me, there was red paint splattered across that area just yesterday at the Austin Public Library here downtown. Now, if we take a closer look, you can see there is someone working on power washing all of that paint up right now. Now, officials have said in the past that they do have safety measures for keeping the polls safe during the election and the rest of the city safe for after the votes are counted. A campus normally covered with burnt orange on Monday splattered with red paint on a mural that encourages people to vote. Downtown at the Austin Public Library, a similar scene. Austinites eager to cast a ballot made their way past the giant red paint splatter. And vandals also hit a spot in South Lamar earlier this month. It's since been cleaned up. Some may see it as voter intimidation, but the Travis County Clerk Dana De Beauvoir says the mess should not get inside polling places. All of our elected judges go through a training that tells them what's the best way to respond to a, a lengthy variety of things that might happen in the polling place. And Austin police telling us Tuesday. The biggest thing I can tell people is that um, I feel very good about people going out to be able to vote, to vote safely. But could something like this paint a preview for what's to come after the election results? A report from the San Antonio Express News says up to a thousand National Guard troops are planned to be activated for post-election disturbances. Austin is one of the cities that those troops would go to. Austin Police Assistant Chief Joseph Chacon says the department and others keep an eye on things like this every election cycle. So we have put in place some plans to um, go on tactical alert next week. Our department will be on on alert and ready to respond if needed. People can certainly uh, gather and protest. That is not against the law. Um, they just have to uh, be mindful of not blocking roadways and you know, obviously not causing property damage, not doing violence unto you know, somebody else. And Quita, Assistant Chief Chacon also iterated that they are in a state of preparedness and have no plans at this time to actually mobilize any additional officers. Rather, everyone that is on duty that night will be prepared when needed.